Hey guys, what's going on? It's Phil the Harness Doctor here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the AutoSync device and the requirements needed if you have a 2017 plus GM truck or SUV. Uh, there is a requirement that in order for the AutoSync device to work you have to access your SDG or your serial data gateway module and repin one of the wires on this connector here. And I've gotten several requests from folks who bought the device and they were either unsure on how to repin the connector or they tried to repin the connector and were having issues. So I wanted to take a moment today and show you how to do that. I went ahead and printed the installation supplement document from the website. And don't worry guys, I'll have all the links below in the description for what we're doing here today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So to get started, we'll talk about some of the tools. Uh, make sure you download the installation document from the website. Um, again, I'll have a link to this down below in the description. The serial data gateway module is going to be located in the driver's side under the dash. So look for that. It's going to be up in this area here by your BCM. It's going to look like this here and it's going to have a black and a gray connector. Some of the tools you're going to need, you're going to need uh, maybe some side cutters to cut some zip ties. You're going to need a small flathead screwdriver, some scissors to remove some of the harness tape, and then mo most importantly, you're going to need a pick tool. Now, this is a very small pick tool, and some of the feedback I've gotten from folks that have tried to do this is that they either could not remove the terminal or they damaged the connector. So please be very careful when doing this. Uh, you can damage a connector, causing more problems. So let's go ahead and get started. When you locate your uh, gateway module, you're gonna pull these red tabs back to unlock this. This is called a Connector Protection Assurance or CPA. Once the red tabs are pulled back, you can then push down on the connector and unplug it. Like that. So you wanna go ahead and unplug it. Then what you wanna do is you'll wanna cut back some of this harness tape, so just make sure you do that carefully. If you can peel and unwrap it, do that. If not, uh, use your side cutters or your scissors and carefully remove some of that harness tape. We're gonna be working on this gray connector. So once you have the harness tape peeled back, we're gonna be looking at the front of the connector. On the front, there's going to be this darker gray TPA. TPA stands for Terminal Position Assurance. It's a primary lock for all the terminals inside. And if you look closely, there's going to be a slot here and you'll use your flathead screwdriver and just gently pry that open to the right and pry it a little bit more and now you can pull this off like so now with the tpa removed if you look down inside each slot there is a tiny little lever that holds the terminal in so with the connector in this position the lever is going to be on the top side and on the bottom the lever is going to be on the bottom side. According to the instructions, we want to be looking at this gray wire with the green stripe. It's located in slot number 10. And if you look closely here, see if I can get this to focus. The connector has a reference number. So this corner slot on the bottom left is slot number nine. The wire we want is in slot number 10. We want to unpin this and move this to slot number nine. So as I turn this over, it's going to be this bottom terminal here. So this, your pick tool, very important here, needs to be able to get in between the terminal and that lever, and you want to push that lever down. So I'm going to show you here on this uh, position number eight, since there isn't a terminal in there, but you can see the lever that's in there. And you see, I can push that lever down like so. So as you get your pick tool down in there, you're gonna wanna open that lever. And at the same time, on the back, you wanna be pulling on this wire. So my lighting was poor, I had to get my headlamp. And so I wanted to show you here what I'm talking about. So if you look down inside the slot, you can see in these empty cavities, there's a little tiny lever inside there. And with your pick tool, you can push down on that lever, like so. So what we wanna do is we wanna get the pick tool in there and actually push down on this lever while pulling this out to get it out. Now I can't do this on camera 
because I need to be looking directly down in the in the uh, cavity to be able to do this. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got that terminal released, and now I should be able to pull it out and slide it into the correct slot, pushing it all the way forward, making sure it gets seated all the way to the face. Now I'm having issues getting that to go forward, so I'm gonna use a pick tool and just help guide it down. until it goes forward. So now you can see the terminal is all the way forward. You'll then take your TPA, push that back in. And re plug that back in. Well guys, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you found it useful and helpful in your quest in getting the AutoSync device installed into your truck. Remember that I'll leave links on the uh, description below for the AutoSync device itself. I did a review on this guy, uh, the pick tool. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe my channel. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Until next time guys, this is Phil the Harness Doctor. We'll see you later.